Hi, let's see how to set the Mac 3 CNC 0 to the same location as our workpiece 0. In Mac 3, we have a port that we have open and we have a certain workpiece and the 0 of the Mac 3 is not at the zero of the workpiece. So what we want to do is to make sure that the zero of the CNC, which is the zero of the Mac 3, is at the zero of our port or workpiece, which in this case is somewhere down there. Let's see how to do that. We have the port that we want to machine and if we click the middle mouse button on the first green point, we can see this is the first object to be routed. But what we really want is to have the first point to be routed at the edge of the workpiece. So let's draw some line to create the edge of a workpiece. So we go to draw, line, Use mouse, continue. The snap is enabled. We're going to click the left mouse button at the end of that line, and we're going to drag it all the way over here. We make it horizontal. We click the F3 again to disable the snap. We click the left mouse button. Then we click the right mouse button to uh, stop drawing lines. Now, we need another line. We go and we click F3 again to enable the snap. We go at the end of one of these lines over there. We drag it down. We make it vertical. We click F3 again to disable the snap. We click the left mouse button. And then we click again the right mouse button to disable drawing line. Now we have an intersection where we can pull a point because we want to start uh, the machine, the CNC 0, to be at the workpiece 0. Let's save this project and use another name. We go to File, Save As, and we're going to name it you know, underscore 2. Save. Now, we need to do one more thing. We need a point. So we'll, we'll go to File, New, and we're going to create a point. We go Draw, Point, and we can put it somewhere down there where it's more visible. And we're going to make sure that we're going to route this point, route semi-automatic, we click the point. So if we click the middle mouse button, we can see this is the very first point to be routed. This is good. We go to view display route arrow. Nothing there because this is the first point to be routed. And we want the CNC to start machining at that point. Let's save that point. Save as uh, point, routed point. Then the next thing we need to do, we go back to our project that we have put the two lines. We go open. And this is what we want to do. We want to bring that point over there. So we're going to go to, uh, first of all, we're going to go F3. We're going to select point so we can get some point. And also we will select intersection because we're going to need that. But let's just select point for now. We go to file merge and we want to merge the routed point we click on open now this is an important question since we want that point to be the very first object to be routed we will select yes to merge before the first route so we click on yes now the point is here and we have selected point and intersection so we're going to click the left mouse button on the point. Then we're going to drag the point at the intersection over here. Here we go. And uh, we want to save that. Save as. We save it as number three. So what this will actually do is now this point is not the first point to be routed anymore. This becomes the second point. 
Now this is the first point to be routed, and it also coincides with our CNC zero location. So, so, so this is where we want the head of the CNC to be, and this is where in Mac 3 you got your zero at that location, and your meaning tool at that location, and in RouteCAD, this location represents the edge of your workpiece. Now, there's only one thing you need to do. You need to go to Machine, and you need to export your G-code. Okay, and then you will export your G-code. Um, we will call it uh, Port 1, and then again Port 1. then you need to take that port 1 and bring it into Mac 3. Now, we have opened Mac 3 with the port we just made, the G code we just exported, and we can see a big difference. The 0 of Mac 3 is at the 0 of the workpiece that we have just created. And all we need to do is to make sure that we bring the CNC meaning tool at that location. And we make sure we obviously have to zero everything at that location in Mac 3. But if the CNC meaning tool is at that location and we start machining, it's going to give you the exact result that you're looking for.